How are we doing today guys? Once again, thank you for tuning in to Viper 9 toy videos. Today I have more Boss Fight Studio. Um, this figure I'm kind of excited to get opening. This is the Skeleton Blank, but it's the Menacing Mist Blank Skeleton. And then I have the Menacing Mist Character Creator Kit. So it'll be parts to elaborate on top of this skeleton. To my knowledge, these are... Big Bad Toy Store exclusives. At least that's what it said on Big Bad Toy Store. And I could not find them on BossFightShop.com. So, leads me to believe that they are, in fact, BBTS exclusives. Um, but let's go ahead and get this guy open. So I can go ahead and show you what's kind of cool about this one. And if you could, guys, I know I've been mentioning it. Uh, leave that like. Leave the thumbs up. Leave the comments if you're if you're enjoying the the content and everything like that. That just helps me know that I'm doing a good job. Let's go ahead and see if we can't. Yeah, I got him open. So this one here is a transparent, like almost crystal color. And he is awesome. One thing that I love about Boss Fight is when they say something's going to be transparent, it's probably some of the best transparency items that I have ever seen. They have done some ghost figures back in their original Series 1 Vitruvian Hacks, and some of those figures were just absolutely amazing. And with the skeletons here... so. Go ahead and go through the articulation. He does have a single ball joint head on that. He does have a movable jaw. And then he will have the waist swivel on a ball joint. The, the ball joint doesn't have very much good range of motion, but it does have some range of motion. His elbows are, are shoulders. <laughs> Why do I always do that, guys? His shoulders have absolutely amazing range of motion. And as you saw, I was trying to bend his elbow there, but his elbow... Oh, there we go. So his elbows do have a really nice bend on them. And then they actually have wrist rockers. Now, the wrist rockers aren't a part of the hand. As you can see there, the hand comes off. So the joint is actually in the bones uh, there. Then he does have some really good hip articulation. Double jointed knees, even for a skeleton, he still has double jointed knees. And then he has um, rocker ankles on there, which just the, the articulation that they are able to fit in a 118th scale skeleton has been just absolutely amazing. Like, they, they didn't lose any of the articulation, they didn't lose any of the customizability. This figure still comes apart just like all of the Boss Fight Studios figures. So, for instance, like you could go ahead and grab his shoulder and just pop that out of the joint. You can mix and match and swap parts at will. And the customizing on these guys is just absolutely awesome. Once again, the transparency on this guy is just so, so cool. Hints of, of, looks like smoking in there, like a little, little more clear on the jaw, a little bit more smokier on the head. Um, I almost want to say I see a hint of purple in there a little bit, but not too drastic. Not too drastic. Then one thing that it also comes with, I've seen a lot of people question these bits and bobs, these little plastic uh, parts here. We're going to go ahead and dump that out into my hand, see if I can show them off well enough. If the camera will focus. So what these here are, is these go onto the figure stand, so you can actually stand your skeleton up. Uh, so they peg into the figure, or peg into the stand. Do you, know, you know what? Instead of just talking about it, I'll do the one best, you know, next best thing. I'll show you what the heck I'm talking about. So, for instance, these go ahead peg right onto the stand because as you could tell the skeleton's feet are super small and it, they just don't have room for pegs so they created these little things here to where you're then able to slide the skeleton's feet into them and then ta-da you have a stand for your skeleton without losing any of the detail on the foot to get a peg hole in there how cool is that? 
Then these other bits and bobs, you have two of these. You have four in total. Two for the, the like the shoulders. No, forearms. Two for the forearms, two for the calves. And what these are for is these will fit around the bone. Whoop, and I dropped that. Probably lost forever now. So I'll go ahead and grab this other one. So hopefully I can, you know, lose the matching pair. Um, these will fit around the bone. That way the armor kits that you can get for the Spartans can actually fit on the skeletons and not be loose. So these mimic the full-size body parts of the, the blank figures. And like I said, it just fills up the void inside that... Uh, armor so it's not sloppy in there and it fits you know fairly snug which is just once again completely awesome so you're able to get a skeleton blank you're able to get all of the um armor kits that came with the vitruvian hack series one and they fit still so we'll go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and one thing so he does also come with a transparent shirt the transparent shirt is a little bit molded for the skeleton. I have gotten it to fit onto a zombie before, but just the way that they've designed this to fit. So there he is with that, that shirt on to make it look like he's got ghost rags. And see, the other the other shirt that they've done is actually a, a Boss Fight Studio logo shirt. So as you can see, that I set it on their green, their green zombie. <laughs> and then they've got some trousers that are supposed to fit on there. Let's see if I can get... Last time I tried tearing apart a skeleton to do this, it, it scared me. Oh, and he just popped right apart. Take a look at that. So that fits on the hips like that. And then you go ahead and you fit him hopefully right back together. And then boom! Boom! You have the Menacing Mist Skeleton wearing clothes. Aha. Oh, that is just super cool looking. I plan on using this guy as a ghost. Maybe get some custom Ghostbusters made up and then have him, you know, menacing some people. Then he does also come with two different hands. We'll go ahead and, let's see, are they... Oh, they are opposite hands. So you can go ahead and pop that off. Then he comes with a, a pointy hand. So, he's totally surprised. And then, looks like he also comes with... Oh, come on, pop off there. He comes with a jazz hand. What did the five fingers say to the face? Leave that joke as you will. Or take that joke as you will. But you know what? I know I'm hitting probably one of my longer videos that I've done, but we're also going to go ahead and open in, open this character creation kit for the Menacing Mist here, so we can go ahead and take a look at some of those parts inside. Uh, once again, just kind of look at the, the transparency that they have, and just some of the customization of these different different figures that it comes with. Oh my goodness. So right here, ooh, so they're a little bit more shadowy of head sculpts than what I was expecting. So you have the nice little ghost ram head there. <laughs> oh, that looks just so cool. And he, I think he has, oh, he does, he has a movable jaw. Oh, hey, mine's horns want to be a little loose. And then you have the transparent pumpkin head right there with some awesome detail on it. Then you have, let's see, let's take a look at this. Ooh, a pirate head. Nice little transparent pirate head there. Then you have a demon skull. Just all the detail on that is absolutely amazing. Then you have, let's take a look at that. So I'm going to say that might be an orc skull. So because it has the the pointy teeth out there on the bottom, you can kind of see. Once again, that menacing mist transparent. 
then you have that just awesome looking alien skull kingdom of the crystal skull so now you have one for your indiana jones figures if you want to acknowledge that movie so there are the different heads and tell you what to, to change those heads is just as easy as popping off this one i hope there we go then you can go ahead and pop that one on stay in focus so there you go there is the pumpkin head on that one <laughs> that's just awesome and then in here you'll have a bunch of different shoes and boots and toppers so kind of like if you see my previous um videos on the boss fight studio so here is a buckle boot looks like for a pirate and then you'll actually have the top for the buckle boot so this will fit up and over the calf and then this will replace the foot and then you'll have the the buckle boots i have actually the other pirate here that i've done that to but instead you have these in transparent um let's take a look at so we should also have so there's one of the combat boots there's one of the combat boot toppers See if we can't find the, the combat boots here. So there's the other combat boot, and there's the other combat boot topper. So let's see if we can't go ahead and throw them on real quick. Go ahead and take the feetsies off. And then usually this will have like a left or a right on it. I thought the transparent might be make it a little bit harder to see. Let's compare. Let's see. So I've got... Yeah, we'll say that's the left, or the yeah the left foot. So we'll go ahead and throw that on there. And that is the left shoe, maybe. I know I've gotten these onto the zombies before, or the skeletons before. So we'll go ahead and pop that up like that. Then we'll go ahead and clip in that shoe. And slide that down. And voila, there you have a ghost boot on him. Or if you want to do the pirate boot... You do the exact same thing. You have you have a, a bunch of different options. I mean, you have the what I think the combat boots. You have the pirate boots. And then maybe you just have shoes, just some regular sneakers right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the just the regular skeleton foot back on. Have him look like my zombie, and then he's missing a boot, menacing. And then you actually have some really awesome like extended monster hands right there. We'll go ahead and pop these back off. And there you go. You have a left and a right. So, monster hands. That is just so cool looking. Then we'll go ahead and take a look at this here real quick. So right here you also have some really cool um, like demon wings and the articulation on them. These are skeletal, uh, opposed to non-skeletal, you know, kind of noticing a theme there, but let's see if maybe they have, So these ones here, the articulation on the wings are fairly amazing. So you have a joint here that goes into the arm. We'll go ahead and show that real quick. Go ahead and pop off whichever arm I already had off. You can go ahead and stick that into the arm joint. So it has the, the joint for the shoulder. Then it has the elbow joint. Then it has the wing joint right there.
really, really rad. I really enjoy this skeletal kit. Uh, and then the fact to get it in this transparent is really cool. Then it also comes with some weapons. So this, these still are not solid color pieces. They're smoky. So you can kind of still see the transparency through them. So they're just a smoky transparent. Oh, that is so cool. I am really, really happy with this set. See if you can... Yeah, the handle's a little bit more solid of a color. But that blade, you can still see. So, go ahead and pop back on the skeletal hand. Pumpkin head. Scary hand. Missing a boot. Holding a pirate sword. Now, if that's not just a scary looking ghost, I don't know what is. <laughs> Let's pop that off and let's go ahead and put the pirate head back on. Now let's find that pointy hand. You. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have lots of fun with this guy. But tell you what, if you lasted through this long, I highly appreciate it. This is, you know, probably one of the most exciting boss fight sets I've had in a while. Uh, check them out. Like I said, they're exclusive to Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, but... As always, guys, thank you for watching.